Good afternoon YouTube. I'm going to do a video on the different methods of how to fill up your chainsaw with a bar oil and gas mix. So of course everyone knows your standard, not everyone, but um, your standard mix should be 50 to 1, 40 to 1, depending on how your theory behind that. That's like religion and politics, you'll hurt a lot of feelings. So on the end over here, what I have is a two and a half gallon, a little over two gallon of the gas that I've painted and just sharpied on there and then a gallon of bar oil. I know a lot of people who do high production work uh, or have to move a lot will just put caps on the end. Uh, one of the ways that I've found that works really well is the old uh, gear oil bottle and reuse these bottles that you can buy that are already pre-mixed. Use that and then these are Actually, really good, kind of a tin, I don't know, aluminum that's filled up almost to the max. But I refill these and they work very well and I like them a lot. So, for a quick job in the backyard, throw them in a bucket, throw them in a, in a milk crate with your tools, and these go together. The one fail point of that is that you lose these a lot. Uh, but we'll see kind of how they work. Uh, the next up is the good old, uh, just a water bottle that I use to fill up. Uh, just the bar oil with easy grips handle to carry it so you can take it deep in the woods and uh, your uh, your mix fuel here with the vent and this one is actually nice because I removed the safety feature and it lets you uh, pour oil in there so one option one bad thing is junk can fall in there so you might need a plug and then the one on the end that I haven't really used much but I saw on Facebook a couple guys mention it is an old uh, laundry detergent bottle and these are pretty simple clean it out <laughs> make sure you mark it bar oil oil you definitely don't want that going back in the laundry but high visibility you toss it in the woods and the bushes you're not going to lose it and then your standard uh, gas container and um, I just kind of put a lawn nozzle on this I'll, I'll tag a, a video of how I made these this one I didn't put a vent on because it's so small but the other ones I did put a vent on this actually for a couple dollars you can buy polyvinyl tubing, a PVC stopper, and it's actually really nice. This is kind of uh, longer than it needs to be. I just had the piece. I didn't cut it down. So hang around. We'll get to it. What we're, today we'll be using is the Makita 6100, also known as the Dolmar 6100. They're all orange now. They're all called Makitas. They drop the Dolmar name. This is an awesome, awesome 61cc saw, top of the class. People put it up against the 30, uh, 362, they put it up against the um, uh, the 562, so it's just a really good saw. So uh, first, you're in the field, you're done, you run out of gas, what do you do? Well, you flop it aside, this one broke off, pop open the gas, a little bit f more full than it needs to be, so let's see how we're going to do this here. Here we go. I think that's about 7,500 milliliters, so just shy, a little bit too high. Of course, position is everything, so the idea is you don't want to spill too much in the environment. You don't want to cause a lot of waste. You don't want to waste your oil or your fuel. Next one up, oil reservoir. This is one of my favorites because it's just an easy, just squeeze it up. And as you squeeze it in, you fill it up. And I think this is a little over 500 milliliters, so a little under. The rule of thumb is it's kind of a two to one. So for every two times that you fill up your gas, you should uh, fill up your gas. But a good... Again, another, another thing to do is always always check both. I always fill up top off both. So there's the, the quick and easy reused gas can, reused oil can, reused oil beer can. Next up on for sure is going to be the most messy, the dirtiest. Like I said, 
I've seen people carry their fuel and oil like this just because the nozzles break off, they're hard to get to, they're just really good at pouring. So it's gonna be my first attempt with these. I'll make sure I do it right. I think that that first one I was kind of going overhand. I'm gonna pour this at, at realistic as if we were in the field. Uh, you get a, always get a rag and just wipe off the dirt and dust. You'd be amazed at how much stuff gets in there. That's why you really need a good filter. So here we go with the gas. Uh, pardon my mess before it even happens, okay? Hey, I surprised myself even. Look at that. Light spillage. Not much wipe it down. Hey, I impressed myself right there. That looks pretty good. Next up, oil. Now this might be the tricky one. Kind of a side action, a higher up. Oop. Yeah, that was a good spill right there. Tablespoon or so. But I actually did better than I thought I would. It'll smoke, it'll burn off. I mean, ultimately, all that's going to end up in the environment, anyways, but we do want to try to minimize it. So, there's the two. A lot better than I thought. Next up, just a simple one, gas can and a jug. I guess this can simulate the actual gallon jug of bar oil. I buy them in gallon jugs. They say you should always shake it, agitate it, in case anything settles, oil or anything like that. Get a good mix. Not bad. Maybe one of the best ones yet. Maybe because I've used these two the most. The gallon water jug and a gasoline jug. The downfall with this one is it's probably not oil or petroleum safe. It's been in here for maybe a year or so. I've used, refilled it, but my guess is it's going to get brittle and it's going to crack. So it might not best be the best thing for long term. And last but not least, the long nozzle and the detergent. The problem you do get with this long nozzle is that it wants to burp on you. So you'll start filling it up. It'll fill up in here, so if you have too much in the nozzle here, and you're full here, you're going to get a lot of spillover. So you have to kind of listen to it and watch, and guess it and pull it back, let it fill in. I guess to overcome that, I could just as easily uh, put a little vent tab on the back here. A 
this will be my first time using this. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Pours out. No drip, no spill. Amazing. I'm sold. Not my idea. Thank you, Facebook. And there it is. So let me show you the reverse, actually, how I've been putting these back in here. I've been using just a clean, a semi-clean old bleach container. Holding it. make a little siphon and pour it back in there. What's nice about this is that as you do it you can kind of see what kind of particles are in your tank. So I'd even recommend that you, uh, I mean even with that you still get a few dust particles. I would recommend you drain your tank every every few weeks or so. Sediment will really build up there in the bottom and you can do your filter really good by cleaning that out. Same thing, you might recognize this bottle from uh, another uh, removing ethanol from your gas. This is the same one I used, I sacrificed it, used it for this. I'll tag that right up there, you can kind of watch that video. That video has become um, now a year, it's over a year old, and it's just booming. It's 150,000 almost views. So that's how I've been transferring the oil and the gas back into each container each time so I'm not wasting or having to run through it. There it is. How to gas up your chainsaw. So I think right now my favorite are these two. Like I was saying earlier, when you go out with gas and oil, you almost want like a two to one for every gallon of gas. You want at least a half gallon of oil. Maybe even like three to one on the minimum side. Most, depending on how you turn up your oil, you're going to burn about two tanks of gas for every one tank of oil in your chainsaw. And that's made so that you don't run out of oil while you're burning your gas. So you should always top both off when you're doing it. I like these because this is easy to fill. I don't need a, uh, I can pour it right from the gallon jug. Just pour it right in there. It actually drains everything. A really good refillable way of doing it. This one, you might need a, a filter. Like I was saying, I've used these a lot. Just refillable, good, sturdy container. I'm not going to vent off on you. These do fall over and spill out because these just kind of pop off. I guess you could put a nail in it. Kind of a nail on a string and that nail would, you know, a long nail kind of holds it in there. But either way, these do spill. They do make for quick and easy fill up. I mean, they're both a quart, so you're going to run out of this before this. But, uh, you know, a quick throw it in the bucket. You can use these. These are nice. If you're doing a lot of work, production work, you got a lot, you're doing... Um, some milling, you're milling some wood. These are, are the go-to. And if you get it right, you're not going to spill a ton everywhere. And these will work out to about as you empty this, you'll be pretty low on this. So these are pretty proportionate of how you're going to use them. And probably my least favorite are these ones. Easy to pour, but brittle. Probably going to crack soon. This one just takes some, some getting used to dust and particles are going to fall down there. So another not so quick video of how kind of I do my things and um, have uh, just a few ideas 
of how to fill up your chainsaw. I know this is kind of like simple and mundane, but it's kind of crazy what people do do, what they don't do, how you spill it. Definitely get rid of those those EPA uh, bottles. Again, I'll tag you. I'll post the video of where you can, of how you can switch that out and make your bottles flow easy. The EPA bottles are the worst. I hate them. They spill more. They cause more issues because they'll build up pressure. You'll push on it. It'll spray everywhere. Horrible, horrible idea. The idea was that they didn't want the gas to be sitting and off-gassing. So they made it so it sealed itself automatically. And second, they didn't want it to spill. But guess what it does? It does both of those. As you pressure it down, it's off-gasses. And it spills everywhere. You cannot fill up a small engine with those. Just can't do it. So... There's the video on how to do that. And if you have any questions, shoot them my way. I really appreciate all the, uh, all the, uh, the comments, everyone watching it. Uh, tag me in some videos. Uh, you can post and, and share my videos. Again, like I was saying, I, one of my videos just, just took off. It's been sitting for a year. And I have no idea how YouTube does their metrics, but I'm happy because it's paying me a ton of money. And it's crazy um, just to do these silly videos. So I encourage all of you, just do videos that you enjoy. I kind of um, kind of reluctant to do videos. I'm like, oh, man, it's, it's so hard, but it's so easy. I just get out there and make a video and uh, share them with everyone. Do what you love, uh, what your, your odd hobbies, your weird thing. You'll find people that will enjoy what you do. Uh, you'll make a video, it'll be your heart and soul, and no one will watch it. So you live and learn, and uh, we all grow. Have a wonderful afternoon, an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Adios.